Hello, <clears throat> my name is Joni Salminen and here is our Kai late breaking paper. It's about developing a measurement scale for organizational readiness for personas. So the idea that we have is that uh, persona application has been criticized a lot in the literature and there are many issues in adopting personas in organizations and actively using them. So based on our experiences and based on some indications in the literature, uh, we feel that not, not all organizations are necessarily ready for personas before taking on persona projects. And they might have conflated expectations or they might not have user-centered thinking or some other reasons might result in a situation where uh, personas fail. So the idea is that through this persona readiness scale, which is a short survey that can be administered to all kinds of organizations, the organizations can measure their readiness for personas before even starting the persona projects. And this is important because persona projects are expensive and they can be lengthy and as mentioned they can be failure prone. So ensuring that the project is successful before taking it on is good for everyone. And in this scale development we reviewed a lot of literature from human computer interaction, information system sciences and computer science literature and this was primarily because there are similar readiness or maturity scales for example regarding UX tools or big data readiness, analytics readiness in organizations. So we were <coughs> trying to find these similar scales to identify relevant constructs and items that would inspire the development of the persona readiness scale. And through this process we came up with uh, several dimensions for the scale. So I have listed them here in this table. There is need readiness that the organization recognizes that they have a need for personas. Then culture readiness refers to user-centered thinking in the organization that they are uh, ready for personas in this kind of cultural level. Knowledge readiness that they understand what personas are and how they could be applied in real use cases in the organization. Then resource readiness refers to actually allocating enough resources for persona creation but also for training and their actual uh, implementation. And then data and system readiness is specifically important for quantitative or data-driven personas so that enough data is collected and uh, of uh, specific type and structure that enables the creation of data-driven personas. And then capability readiness uh, refers to competence of for creating the personas whether qualitatively or quantitatively. If quantitatively then there needs to be understanding of data science and user segmentation algorithms, how to extract the data, how to process that, and um, how to sort of um, manipulate it in order to create uh, credible persona representations. And qualitatively the same, uh, there needs to be capability to follow good uh, best practices for qualitative research. And then goal readiness is also important that after creation of the persona, the organization measures the performance outcomes coming from the persona. So, so this requires that they have defined metrics for success and have a realistic uh, plan of actually implementing in the personas in concrete use cases, which is not always the case in organizations. So the implications for organizations is that we suggest that this persona readiness assessment will be done before actually creating the personas which is not the case at the moment in most of most of the cases they just start from persona creation but in between if if based on completing this survey uh, challenges are observed then already they could be addressed before taking on the persona creation and that would hopefully result in more efficient persona deployment and performance outcomes and we could avoid some of these challenges that I mentioned. Okay, so that's everything. Thank you for listening.